Hello! I'm leaving for a week-long food creators event. There's going to be a lot of collaborations with other creators, there's going to be some dinners, and there's going to be a lot of walking. I'm leaving tomorrow, so let's start packing. Okay, knowing that our location is Seattle in the summer, the temperature is going to be around mid-70s during the day and then mid-50s at night. I know that I get cold really easily, so I'm packing to keep that in mind. We're going to be there for four nights, five days. I'm not a minimalist packer. I like to have different options. So I will bring like one or two extra things. Okay, so when I pack, I like to start with the things that I might forget. And it's because they're very specific for this trip. I don't have them listed in my master packing list that I keep. Right when I land, I'll be collaborating with a couple of content creators and I want to make sure that I have all the ingredients that I need ready. Yes, we will have a fully stocked kitchen at Chef Sep Studios to use and we'll be in Pike Place Market, but I want to be triple sure that I have everything and not scrambling last minute. I've already released the three collabs I did using these ingredients. If you've already seen them, do you know which dishes I made? Next up is camera gear. I typically pack a lot lighter than this when I'm traveling since I typically use my iPhone and Osmo Pocket to film. Plus, Doug is usually there to help, but he's not going to be at this event until a day later and I've got at least four collabs to knock out before he gets there. So I gotta pack my Sony ZV-1 because it has a flip screen so I can see what I'm filming. That means that I gotta pack all the little things that come with using a camera. Extra batteries, SD cards, chargers. I absolutely must have my DJI mics because I know it's gonna be loud with 32 other creators in the studio. This thing is so portable, it's one of my favorite pieces of equipment. Aside from camera gear, I never travel without my portable charger, the charger for my portable charger, iPhone charger, and Kindle in case I actually read something during this trip. Spoiler alert, I didn't crack it open once. I am saving some room in my luggage because I finally bought a travel tripod and I'm getting it shipped to Chef Step's kitchen, so I have a tripod for my collabs. Next are clothes for a non-minimalist packer who needs her options. I always bring a nicer outfit just in case there's a fancier event. I also bring a workout outfit because I like to pretend that I'll actually exercise when I'm there. And my multi-purpose jacket. This is my most favorite jacket. It's got like a puffy inner layer, so it keeps me warm, but it's light enough so it doesn't look like a big poofy jacket, and it goes with almost anything. You've probably seen me wear this in like all my travel videos. <laughs> Unless it's super, super cold, that's when I bust out the parka. I despise bringing extra shoes, but I have the space anyway. I usually just wear my comfy boosts or waterproof vessies for the whole trip. I'm still deciding on which one to bring. You'll see every piece of clothing that I pack later. Okay, the toiletries. It's stuff that I use to cleanse and moisturize my face for day and night. Sunscreen, a couple of hair products, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, contact lens solution, lip balm. You know, I don't realize how many things I use throughout the day until I have to fit them all in a quart sized bag and squeeze them into tiny containers. I'll bring some makeup because I want to look cute and some eyeshadow sticks that I probably won't use. Hey, another thing I might not use, but I'm bringing the hair curler just in case. I still got space. More toiletries, and if you're not already doing this, pack your plugs wherever you travel. They're gonna help you sleep in case the walls in your hotel are too thin, or if you want some quiet on the airplane. You'll thank me later. And I can never forget my glasses and contacts because my prescription is really high. Finally, the airport outfit. When I first started traveling, I kept forgetting that what I wear to the airport can be repurposed during my trip, which saves me space. I aim for comfy and warm because I'm always cold in the airplane, and wearing my jacket means I can pack more things. Packing time! I'm gonna fit everything inside my carry-on and my backpack. I prefer not to check in any bags unless I'm traveling for at least three weeks. First go the one nice dress and the skirt. I like to bring two shorts of different colors, and leggings as a lighter alternative to my jeans that I'm already wearing on the airplane. I'm bringing five shirts. I could reuse some, but I have space, so why not? I got the two workout tops and a pair of leggings. There's my pambahai, which are clean clothes that I'll wear in the hotel and when I sleep, and the undies, bras, and socks. Nowadays, I like to bring extra hats for sun protection, and the toiletries finish this side of the luggage. On the other side, I'm packing the ingredients for my collabs. My shoes for the just-in-case fancy event, hair curler, and I'll separate the food and my shoes using two bags that I'll eventually store my dirty clothes in. I'm packing this loosely to give me space for my new travel tripod when I return, so let's close that up. 
Now, for my personal item that I store under the seat, I'll pack things that I want to access during the flight. This includes my laptop stuff for editing, toiletries since I'll put on makeup and switch into my contact lenses before I land, and my camera gear because I'm paranoid and I want them on me at all times. I might do some editing on the plane and or read my Kindle, so we're gonna keep these close by. Last but not least, I always have my handy dandy water bottle wherever I travel. You know what everyone says, we gotta stay hydrated. That's it, we did it. That was kind of a lot. I hope that that was helpful. With that, ugh. Okay, I'll see you all in Seattle, bye.